vlog number six so this week we're going to jump in and talk about my design sketches and from presenting how I'm going to develop this into more of a finalised detailed site design um, and more of a finalised concrete idea um, to move on so I'm going to jump straight into it so I'll see you in a sec welcome back to my computer so i just created like two a1 sheets just to show some of my illustrations um and some precedent images to just support where i'm at so far so i'm kind of using these as like a summary of where i'm at so far so it's easier to explain to you guys the hedro revolutionized um just wanted to start off my key aims are creating a community engaging site um connecting people with nature um, creating a more uh, sustainable living, so uh, aiming to reach the net zero of Leeds City um, and increasing um, the health and well-being of people. Um, Design, looking at the hedgerow, and I, uh, as previously mentioned, um, I wanted to link people into more cultural parts of the hedgerow. So uh, as of at the moment... It's predominantly known as just retail, but I thought, why can't we expand on that? Why can't it just be more than uh, retail? Because there's a lot of cultural and listed buildings along the hedgerow, but a lot of people don't realise it's there. So my aim is to highlight that. So as I've previously, previously mentioned, um, there is a art gallery just here. Um, and in front is a war memorial so I wanted to combine a way to celebrate them both because um, there was art installations that's happened throughout the years but they haven't quite integrated the war memorial that's just in front of it and always takes away from it in some respects so what I wanted to do is create an art installation that celebrates the gallery and also the war memorial that sits in front of it and I also wanted to uh, link people to travel the entire way up to Dortmund Square um, so I wanted to have these like poppy type um, lights lining up the hedgerow to guide people to go that way um, and also, um, as you see here, um, we have a cycle path uh, along here um, and there is like drips and drabs of cycle paths, but then it goes onto the road um, and I feel like it can get quite confusing for a bike rider to just come on and off the road all the time and it doesn't seem ideal. Um, so I looked at the sides of the pathways and they're very wide pathways. I don't see why we can't just extend the path, uh, the cycle path the entire way uh, down uh, the pedestrian zone here. Um, I don't think there's a necessary need to put it onto the road because it's kind of taken away from the cyclist experience. Um, and as you can see here, even with the cycle path included, you can still get about three people passing each other anyway. Um, so I wanted to introduce more cycle routes that are actually not on the road um, because it just seems chaotic uh, for a cycle cyclist experience. I wanted to introduce some green spaces, so like how they've done over here. Um, I think we can easily put in like small little gardens for people to sit um, and still have space for at least three people to pass one another. Um, and I've put the seating on the inner side so if there was say a traffic collision um, they'll almost be barriered um, by vegetation, built up vegetation. So the conclusion I've came up with um, I think creating these mini gardens where the path widens to allow for that little green space because I was considering um, green walls and stuff like that um, but the hedgerow is quite famous for 
red brick so I didn't want to hide that so I think this is an easy medium this is a current development here Cookridge Street and I think it flows quite nicely um and it highlights this development that's been quite successful so I think having these pockets of green space in a similar sort of shape um as well as using these poppy lamps I think it's and that feels like a natural guide to where I want people to go um so I'll quickly go to this little cross section I've painted so these are just a few these are some digital drawings and this is a painting that I did um so this is dormant square so people come up the hedgerow up here um and then go into dormant square um this is still needs to be revised this area but this is just like a rough idea um because as you can see here i've really started to change it a little bit because this is i did this quite a while ago now um but this is just to get an idea of where i want people to travel so I want people to go through the hedgerow up to Dortmund Square, up until, the, so just behind here is St John's Church. So I want to take people to that cultural place and also look at the Garden of Rest and potentially look at the car park um, up here, as you can probably see, it's quite bright. Um, so... I want to kind of use this as a community hub so here is St John's car park so like I said in previous um, videos when I went up there several times there, on the top level there was no more than like one or two cars um, every time I went up there so it's not being utilised to the best of its ability um, and the garden of rest that sits behind um, it's it's a very nice green space but um and people tend to kick a ball about there but i saw an article uh, that reads and basically describes that residence because uh, it used to be a cemetery and it still has that symbolization there so some residents don't feel it's appropriate to kick a ball about there and um, as their loved ones did rest there and i think there still is some loved ones that rest there but this obviously a need for some social play and all of that so I thought why don't we bring it up to the St John Centre. Um, I've highlighted some of the colours that are seen on painted murals, very bright colours along the Garden of Rest, along these walls so I thought it would be a nice indication to bring this up onto the car park. So when you are viewing on this viewpoint here you can see the easy link. So down, so these are two different levels um i've extended the um slope so it's more appropriate for wheelchairs because currently it's for um vehicles which not ideal if we want to make it into a pedestrianized zone so uh, i've done that um so i wanted to make this into a playground um and this is quite a deprived area anyway just like the back streets um so after speaking with the church um there's definitely a need for some help in the community in that as aspect so as you saw on like my mood board i was thinking about urban farming um so that's what I sort of started to introduce here and this is like the food bank um and then just these like little pop-ups newspapers um you can get a cup of coffee you can chill out over here if you're a parent easily see your kids playing so it's all safe and also like this or you can see it amongst the playground here on the seatings around the plants uh, around here um so it's kind of like this hub for all ages to come and visit because even though this is a very student dominated areas i feel like when it comes to designing um, and that we see that there's a certain type of age group within the area um, we fall into the trap of designing just for them and I feel like this uh, hub almost is a place for everyone of all ages we've got more of a calmer feel over here um, I do feel like I need to tone down the colours just slightly but 
I quite like just the crazy bit of colour because I feel like the hedro, it's very just grey Yorkshire paving stones, very concrete. I kind of feel like it needs that splash of colour. But I also now want to consider how could we introduce some of the urban farming for some of the children how could they get involved looking down into the garden of rest which i'm now going to create into a flower garden i think that would be an excellent view to look down there and um even on this level on the average adult height you can see into dormant square so where i've made my main developments you can see from the car park which i think is very vital Um, so yeah my main points for this space was to relax to create community to create play and to have color um just a quick mention about the paving so what what i want to do with the paving is to where it's darker to almost give a sense of pathway to naturally guide people to where I want them to go but when it comes to a space here where I just want people to explore have fun the darkest uh, tiles are more scattered in my detailed site design um, I want to look at the journey so right now it's quite thin narrow um, pathway and it's almost like you want to just pass through there really quickly um and as you can see here i've just done some scribbles <laughs> um if i actually if i just quickly open google maps let's put it on satellite so if you just look just here um i don't think people would know to go that you can go through that specific area um if it didn't have the sign saying arrow i don't think people would know to be able to go up there so this was a area i wanted to focus mainly on and that is a god awful building <laughs> so um I think greening this would be most appropriate um, and it almost will indicate to people that there's something going on over here. Um, I want to break down uh, this wall here and create a slope that extends down here. I still need to enable cars to get here because this is disabled parking here because this is age uk so i don't want to take that away so that's what i'm looking at now maybe sloping down here into this bit here so maybe knocking down this wall so here there's no public right of way um these don't really seem to be doing anything we've got this horrible staircase here um i think if i was to do something maybe extend the staircase down that way i don't see why it needs to come all the way out here it just seems in the way or if there's any point in having this staircase here um and as you can see here it just feels very just need some feels like you just need to pass through it it just feels too cluttered and i feel like you just need to break it up and pull it outwards hello so i'm just going to wrap up part one of this video now because it's getting a little bit long so i shall see you in part two and it should be posted just after this but until then i'll see you later